Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon. Am I not the luckiest girl in the world? <laughs> I have got the coolest guy, I hate to use the word sandwich, just in case that's, uh, <laughs> that's yeah, a bad word here. Uh, so, <laughs> so I know you know everyone, but I'm gonna let them introduce themselves because yeah, so I also want you to include your uh, Ricky handle. Ricky Zito, uh, Hair God Zito. Philip Wolf. Philip Wolf Hair. Philip Wolf Hair, yeah. That's right, okay. On Instagram. Okay, cool. So, um, the reason we have these guys here is we are at the So Color Cult, the Matrix So Color Cult, flagship grand opening. We're here in New York City at the Y Gallery. It is such a cool program that they have, but I asked these guys if I could just pick their brains for a couple of minutes and get their tips to social media success, and let's just talk really about Instagram. Right. So we'll start with you. What, would, what is your number one tip? We're going to get three tips out of one. each of them. All number right. one, um, the most important. Looking at your page as a whole, not looking at it as individual pictures when you're posting them, actually being a little bit more strategic, checking out what you posted last time and making sure that it all flows together. If at the end of the day, you got like one second for someone to hit follow. If your page looks cluttered and doesn't look like it's organized and, and very professional, then they're not gonna hit follow, so. Oh, well, that's actually great advice right off the bat. For me, and you know, uh, I'm guilty of not, I mean, listen, I'm not the best of, by, of this by any means. However, um, I think it's very important to use all the little mini platforms within Instagram uh, to create a whole experience. You know, they come to your page, they want to see, there's your feed, there's stories, there's IGTV, which I haven't even utilized quite yet, but I will be, so stay tuned. And, you know, we got live feature, you know what I mean, things like that. So try to create a mix and know what things are appropriate for which parts of the platform. And I think as a whole, you create that experience, your world within this whole crazy industry, and I think that's one of the best things you to do. You get kickbacks from the algorithm as well when you use the new stuff that Instagram brings in. Oh, this is so good. Now, we haven't even prepped for this, so number two, go <laughs> ahead. All right, number two is the best content that you can create. You know, it, it was a long, hard road for both of us. We're not photographers, we're not videographers, we're hairdressers. We ended up evolving into that because we were trying to capture our work. Start working on it today. I know it's hard, but creating the best content is what's going to make your page grow the most. All right. Tough to follow that one for yeah. your number two. And number two, I would say utilize, uh, uh, be a follower yourself of many platforms of social media. You know, you got YouTube, you got you know, snap, you got all these other options, you know, and for me, I like to check out a bunch of other people, not just in hair, but in other worlds that are doing well, technology, uh, cars, uh, jewelry, whatever, clothing. I like to see what they're doing, get a little bit of like uh, an inspiration of what maybe I could do within my sort of thing. And then also, oh, I'm going to save that for three. But yeah, so try that out. Check what other people are doing and kind of tie it into yourself. Well, uh-oh. I, I can't believe you guys are doing this well. It's so on the fly. So, okay, number we three. We get lucky, you know. <laughs> number three, engagement. Engagement's everything. Um, that's how the algorithm knows to kick you out. you got to stay on a rhythm. That's why it's called an Aggie rhythm. you got to post every day, even if you don't like the post. You might be surprised at what the world likes. You can delete it tomorrow, but posting every day at the same time is what a rhythm's about. If you, want, if you don't like it a lot, you can delete it tomorrow. But keeping on that rhythm of posting every day, it, it definitely puts you in the front. And also, that goes hand in hand with engagement. Make sure you write back to your fans, whoever writes you. I'm not good at that, and it's very hard. But um, engagement is key. Oh, grand finale. Grand finale, number three, collaboration. I can't tell you how important that is for your brand and for other people's brand like your peers or friends or even someone you've not even met yet. We have DMs to use, you know, we have different ways of connecting with people. So for me, I've been able to collaborate with a lot of fun people that I've been watching over the years. And you know, it's an honor to work somewhere with these people because not only do I get to learn during the process, but we get to create fun content. And as you know, you know, I work with Ricky a lot, but we also, we grab a lot of other people we like and just create something fun. So try that out. You'd be surprised. Oh, there's more. With that, to work with somebody hand in hand, another master of the craft, it lights a fire under your ass. You know, you want to give it 110%. You're not slacking. And also, you learned a lot what they do working with them as far as just watching them. So. And at Modern, we just love to repost people who have collaborated. I mean, right. that's fun for us to give lots of credit out there. Any final words? Thank you.
That, that's it, <laughs> really. Follow you know him. <laughs> yeah. Follow everybody. Go yeah, yeah, follow everybody. You can follow me at Philip Wolf Hair, at Philip Wolf Hair, and uh, on Instagram. Yeah, if any questions for us, just hit up Phil. He'll answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, hey, you guys, have fun tonight. Cool All Matrix, right, yes. So Color Cult, grand opening at the Y Gallery in New York. Thank you guys for giving us Thank this time. You. Thank you. See you. Bye.